animals and solving problems too. Come and be mathematical and join the number crew. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew needs you. He's good fun. Yeah. Oh, Looks oh, like we're not the only ones who think so. You want sticks now, do you? Yes, please. There's eight passengers want to play. Okay then. Eight roller hockey sticks coming up. No problem. Ted's clever at making stuff, isn't he? Anyway, it's match day, and all the sticks will soon be made, so all the passengers who want to can have a game of roller hockey. There's something not quite right about the way they've organised the teams. <laughs> One nil to the Reds! <laughs> <laughs> Three nil to the Reds. <laughs> okay, did you see what was wrong with the teams? Well, there was the tiger and the monkey on one team, and all the rest on the other. That's two against six. That's not fair, is it? No. If you want to be fair, you really should divide things equally. You know, share them out fairly. The same number on each side. So, with eight players, let's see how many that will be on each team. Right, we've got the two captains. The tiger is the captain of the blues. Stray the blues. And, of course, the kangaroo is the captain of the reds. Come on, the reds. So, the tiger picks the monkey. The kangaroo picks the gorilla. The tiger picks the ostrich. The kangaroo picks the crocodile. The tiger picks the rhino. And who's left? Oh, yeah, the penguin. So, the kangaroo picks the penguin. So how many is that on each side? For the Tigers team, one, two, three, four, yeah? And the Kangaroo has got one, two, three, four. Ah, four aside. That's fairer, isn't it? You see, if you want to be fair, you really should divide things equally. Share them out fairly. If one of you has got four shoes, that's more than anyone can use. If someone else's feet are bare, you really can't say, that it's fair. Or if someone has got four rings and you have not got anything. If there's too many or too few, there's only one fair thing to do. Try dividing, try dividing, so you both end up with the same. Try dividing, try dividing, both end up with the same. Well, back at the roller hockey match, the teams are fair and equal. But it doesn't mean to say the players are any good. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I can't bear to watch. You all need to do some serious practice. If they got into pairs, they could practice much better. All right, let's get organised. There's eight players. How many pairs is that going to be? OK, eight players. If we divide them into pairs, how many pairs will it be? Let's have a look. The tiger and the monkey, one pair. The rhino and the ostrich, another pair. 
the kangaroo and the crocodile, and the gorilla and the penguin. So that's how many pairs? Four. Right, we'll give them a chance to practice. Meanwhile, you can have a chance to practice dividing things up. How many different ways can you divide 12 people up? You could divide them into two lots. How many would that make? Two lots of six. You could divide them into three lots. How many would there be in each lot? Three lots of four. You could divide them into four lots. How many would that be? Four lots of three. Perhaps you could think of other ways they could be divided up. If twelve of you are in a line, how many ways can you divide? Here's one way that does the trick. You can be two lots of six. Another way is three lots of four. Or four times three, can there be more? Yes, yeah, six times two. Or twelve times one. There's lots of ways it can be done. Try dividing, try dividing. Cause dividing can be lots of fun. Try dividing, try dividing. There's lots of ways it can be Done. Right, I think the passengers have had long enough to practice now, don't you? So, it's over to the big roller hockey match! Woohoo! Go on, number crew! Come on! Woohoo! One, two! Bunting gives a cup to. Well, that's Baby Bunting's way of dividing things. Well, what about you? Could you practice dividing? Could you divide your class into pairs? Would everyone be in a pair? What if you divided your class into threes? Would there be anyone left over? Oh, try it for yourself. All good practice for being in the number crew. Bye. If you like helping animals and solving problems too, come and be mathematical and join the number crew. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting, who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call, the number crew needs you.